This is question number 16 on the June 2015 calculator paper. So looking at this question, it says liquid A has a density of 0 0.7 grams per centimeter cubed. Liquid B has a density of 1.6 grams per centimeter cubed. 140 grams of liquid A and 128 grams of liquid B are mixed together to make liquid C. Work out the density of liquid C. Okay, so the word density is used several times in this question. You need to make sure you understand and know what density means. And density is mass divided by volume. And you might have a density triangle, which helps you with this, right? This is one that you should know. Density is mass over volume. So this helps you to work out any of the missing ones. And we do need to, to use this because we are given the mass of A. It's 140 grams. The mass of B, 128 grams. right? And then we're asked to work out the density of C. So we'll use the density formula to work out the density of C. But we need to work out the volume of A and the volume of B for these masses. So I'm going to just split my page a bit so I could do workings for A and B. So for A, I know it has a mass of 140 grams and it has a density of 0 0.7. For B, I know the mass of the substance I have is 128 grams and it has a density of 1.6 so to work out volume if I cover up volume in my density triangle it's mass divided by density so the volume of A is going to be 140 divided by 0 0.7 if I get my calculator do that 140 divided by 0 0.7 equals 200 and that's going to be centimeters cubed. I'm going to do a similar calculation for B. The volume of B is going to be 128 mass divided by volume. One two eight divided by one point six. That's eighty centimeters cubed. Okay, so remember the question says work out the density of C. So the density of C is going to be remember mass over volume. Now, from the question, we were told that A and B are mixed together to make C. So, the mass is that are mixed together, 140 grams of A and 128 grams of B are mixed together. So, its total mass is going to be 140 plus 128. Its total volume is going to be 200 centimeter cubed of a and 80 centimeter cube of B. Adding these together, I'm just going to do this. 140 plus 128 is 2. Just do that again. 140 plus 128 equals 268 over 280. I'm doing my division, 268 divided by 280, that gives me 0 0.9571, and so on. I'm going to round it to three decimal places, just for convenience, and in my answer space, 
I'll put 0 0.97, 0 0.957, and that's going to be grams per centimeters cubed. And that's what I've written in the answer space, 0 0.957. This is a tricky question. You need to take your time with it and to make sure that you understand how to work out density and how to work out any of the missing values, mass or volume, in a density question. This question requires you to think a bit. It is straightforward. You should be able to do it and get all the marks in it. Take your time. Go through the question. Make sure you understand it.